Hello my friends and welcome to Ramp It Down. Man, this has been a long time coming. Very long time coming indeed. Uh, I want to start by making a quick confession. Uh, the version you've just seen me play there at the beginning is at 90% of the true speed or the speed of the original. Uh, you can see a link to the original in the description box down below for comparison purposes. Um, I tried pretty hard to get it up to 100%, some would say valiantly, um, but I just wasn't happy with the quality uh, and I decided that it was better to do what I can. Uh, so uh, anyway, with that out of the way, let's, uh, let's get cracking. We've got a heck of a lot of material to get through, so I'm going to go quite quickly through all of the sections. Um, I will, however, respond to any comments or uh, questions that you, you guys want to put in the comments section uh, of, the, uh, of the YouTubes. Um, so, in terms of setup, we are on an electric guitar, surprisingly. Uh, we are on 24 frets. That does matter. Uh, for this particular work, there is... I, I don't have an alternative for 22 or 21 frets, uh, so if you guys are constrained that way, uh, you've got Kenneth Downing to thank for that. Um, 24 frets, what else do I have to say? That there's also no whammy bar on this guitar. Um, there is one whammy bar section at the end of KK's first lead break. I'll show you guys what I do as an alternative there, and also uh, we'll talk about what I think KK is doing with the bar at that moment as well, which is in a bit, hopefully in a few minutes from now we'll be talking about that. Uh, finally, just to say that we are in standard tuning EAD GBE. Okay, right, let's get started. Uh, solo is broken down into six sections. It goes KK, Glenn, KK, Glenn, both together where they go and then finally uh, the last part is Glenn's extended section where he kind of goes bananas and uh, is the most challenging part of the solo, I think, in absolute terms, certainly for me anyway. Um, right, so let's get started with KK's first section. Okay, so for KK's first section we're on the B string, pinky on the 17, middle finger on the 14, and index finger on the 12, and it's a little something like this. Okay, so that's just two 17s, two 14s plucked. We then have hammer on from 12 to 14 and pull off back to the 12. For the second one, we do the same again, except we introduce it again with an extra upstroke on the 17, so it's... And there are two hammers uh, on the 12 to 14 on the second one, so... We then have 16-12 on the E, and we're pulling off twice. 15-12. And next is 14 and 11, but instead of just going 14-11, 14-11, and finally 12-9. Instead of just going like that, you can just do that. I'm hearing a lot more colour in uh, what's going on there, and KK very rarely gives himself the luxury of just simple things that the ear likes to listen to. He's, it, so, so I think there's some punctuation in there. The way I'm doing it is going... So I'm voicing on the 11 and 14 one, I'm actually voicing the interrupting, voicing the 11 as an introduction to the... We then have boah, 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 boah. The way I do that, 14, 16, 17, 19. 14, 16, 17, 19 on the B string, and I'm sliding from a long way down. Uh, we then have which is 17 to 19 on the E, bending full. Come back down, 17, 16, 17. I can't sing it. And then, and this is the whammy bar part. Now, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the open A, sliding up from nowhere, and shaking the 14 on the 14th fret of the A string. The way I shake then is use a finger where you can do the lateral vibrato to make it as. Um, to make it as good as sounding as you can. Now what I think KK is doing 
is he's getting the bar, he's hitting, instead of the open A, he's hitting the open D. He's then going diving. So after he's hit the open D, he's going bow. And then he allows it to come back up. Ow. As he's coming up, he hammers onto the 9, which is the same as the 14 that I'm doing. He hammers onto the 9 on the D. And his vibrato, his vibrato is the bar itself. So it's bow. My fake way of doing it with no bar. That's KK's first section, done and dusted. Let's move on to Glenn's first section. Okay, so for Glenn's first section, uh, we have quite a lot going on, a heck of a lot of notes crammed into a short space. Uh, so let's have a look at just this first part, um, nice and slowly, and then we'll talk about the notes. Okay, so what I'm doing there is we're anchoring 14 on the index finger on the B, middle finger on 16, ring finger on 17, and something on the 19, either your pinky finger or uh, a tapping finger, or in my case, a tapping pick. It might sound like, why the heck am I doing that? Just use your pinky. Uh, you, I, I, I can't do the rest of the thing without tapping. Uh, there's another tap later on that you'll see. Um, so because my hand's already going to be up here anyway, um, I find it's actually more reliable to tap the 19. So the way it, we start off on the 14, and then we just pull off each of these in sequence. It goes, did eat a little, which is so 14, and then 17, 16, 17, 19, 17, 16, 17, 19. Oh no, it's not 19 at the end. It's 16 at the end. So it's Okay. And so yeah, you, you do finish the sixteen to put the final sixteen pulls off. And then we have the next part, which is which is from that position I bend sixteen on the G. How far? One tone. You then need to ring out the 13 on the G, which is 13 hammering onto 16. We then have, which is sliding down to 11 on the G, hammer 13, 16 on the G, which I'm pick, which I'm tapping. So 11, 13, 16 back down again. Which is 14 on the D, bend up. Is it? Yeah. All right, a lot in there. Let's just have another quick look. Take a break. I'm going too fast. Okay, on the B string, that's the 14, 16, 17, and 19 we're doing that with. After that, we go, we move to the G string, which is 16, bend. 13, 16, 13, all um, hammered. So there's four of those, 13, 16, 13, 16. Do, 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 which is moved to the 11 on the G. 11, 13, 16, 13, 11. And our final note is bending the 14 on the D, which you need to bend to the awkward 15. It's a discordant note there. And it's a it's an and it's an abrupt stop as well inside the inside the solo. Glenn's doing it, so he's just gone. But comma, and then we're going to do the next part, which is. Yeah, and this is the easiest of the three of Glenn's sections, by the way. Right, what's next? Which is thankfully quite easy. 14, 11, 13, 14 on the G. Now this is where things get dodgy and I couldn't work out a better fingering than this, but to do the next part it's so it goes and then which is 14 on the B, pulling off 12, 10, and then 13, 11 on the G. Okay, so you've just gone and then you've got to go 14 on the B. So that's a that's a bridge. You're going 14 on the G to straight into 14 on the B, which I hate doing, but I, I don't know how else to do it. And that sounds terrible when I do it. Okay. 
diddle 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 and then we have diddle 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 which is 15, 14, 12 on the beat and then which is 15, 14, 12 on the B into 14, 13, 11 on the G. Dee la la Okay. We then have 12 on the B, 10 on the G. Both plucked. Okay. Dee dee ba la ba la ba la ba la ba which is and then 12, 11, 9 on the D. So do it twice. 12, 11, 9 on the A, before finally pulling the bend up from 11 on the bon on the top E string, and it's wow 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 like that. Okay. Another quick look from the um, uh, okay. Now, so, that's, so the second part. 14, 13, and 11 on the G. Bridging up 14, 12, 10. 13, 11. 15, 14, 12. 14, 13, 11. Do it twice and then ba ba. Before. Okay, and that's Glenn's first section. Again, done very speedily. Hit me up in the comments if anything's not clear. Uh, we'll go over that one uh, and I can provide any other commentary. But that's my interpretation of what, what he's doing for his first solo. We'll move quickly now on to KK's second section. Okay, folks, so for KK's second section, we have our index finger on the 16 on the bottom string, ring finger on the 19, and we're going to be tapping the 23 and then pulling all that off. We then do the same thing except it's the 24. And we're doing all of that uh, four times over, so. We then have 23 again, and then pulling off 21, 19, 16, before going doo doo, which is 19, 18. Almost like a sing song. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 19, 16, 14, 16. Oh, crap. And then slide 14 to 16. So, hit it, hit it two more times, and then, which is, seven, uh, which is 19, 16 on the B. So you've gone. We then have, which is 19, 18, 16, 15 on the G. Now, the way I do this is pulling off and then slide the index. 19, 18, 16, 15. Come back to 18, 16 on the G. Pull off. Voice two 18s on the D. One 16 on the D. And then which is 18, 17, 16 on the A. Before finally 19 on the top string. Back to 16 on the A. And that's the last note. So let's have a look at it again nice and slowly from the tapping part. Oh crap, sorry. Here we go again from there. Okay. We've got to keep moving. So that's KK's second section. <laughs> Uh, now we're on to Glenn's second section. Let's check it out. All right, for Glenn's second section, let's take a look. We are on the G string on the 13th fret with our index finger, and where the first part of the movement is which is, yeah, 13 on the index, 16 with our ring finger, and we're going to go just like that. We then immediately snap to um, 19... 16 tapping uh, t with a tapping pull off on the B. So we've gone. We then do 19 16 on the E. We do that in almost free time about three times. We then do 19 16 on the B again. 
and then deedle 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 again. I think four four of them the second time. And then 1916 on the beat. Before bending the uh, 19 on the B up. So the movement is. Next part is you need to reposition. Uh, again, there's a pause though, there is time to reposition. You reposition your hand down to uh, four and six on the G string, index and ring finger, and we're going to be bending the six up to the seven. Release it, and then which is four, six, four, six on the D four. And you can hear the hammer and pull. Okay, so you've gone. We then have six four six four on the D pull off. Five six on the A. Four on the D. Six five four on the A. All pulled, and then or plucked and pulled, and then seven on the top E. Four on the A. Seven on the top E. So just hear that nice and slowly. Okay, so the next part of this, once you've arrived at that seven on the top string, is the um, sequence of minor thirds that take us back up to the top of the neck again, which is. Uh, each of them is a minor third and they are hammered. Um, the first one is four seven on the top string. We're just going to keep doing this. There's phrasing and bridging notes in between though. It's not straight minor thirds all the way. Um, so here we go. Four seven. The second one is six nine on the A. Six nine six on the D. Hammer and pull. So pretty straightforward. We then go ba do -de 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 -de. The bridging note is nine on the a, I like to reach up, because you're going to need to move your hand up here. You can either lift your hand and do it, or you can reach like a spider. Um, you're pulling off to the 8, 9, 8, and then it's 8, 11, so... And then... Nine, sorry. You, pull, you, you go 8, 11, and then it's 9, 12 on the D. And then 10, 13 on the G. And that's the one that we pull back off again. So you've got boodle 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 dip, ba doodle boodle boodle dip. We then go ba doodle, which we reach up again, and is 13 on the D. And that's uh, hammering 12 to 15. We then go 13, 16 on the G. Finally, 15, 18 on the B. Hit them twice before sliding the 15 to the 16. Hit that twice, and then you're hitting. 21 twice. Sorry, 21, 16. Doo -doo 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 -dee. Okay, very quickly, let's do the whole sequence. And that's it. Anyway, that's Glenn's second section, and we're on to. The second last section, which is the shared um, section. Um, what is the shared section? Uh, there's a melody and a harmony. I haven't worked out the harmony. Um, I'm playing what I th I'm hearing as the melody. And it's a system of A, B, C, B, deedle, deedle. And we're doing that four times, and then we're moving position to four or five, or maybe it's six different positions. Deedle, 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 And then we're moving. And so on. So the first one of those is... 17, 13, pulling off on the B string, voicing 14 on the G, back to 13 on the B. Okay, and there's just four of them. Straightforward, right? Uh, the next part, for the next one, 
is 15 pulling off. So your index finger's in the same spot. 15 to 13 on the big... <laughs> voicing 16 on the G. The next one is a tricky one that, uh, that it's not hard to do, but tricks the ear. It's 15 pulling off to 12 with no other notes. So just pulling off and then voicing the 12 twice more. We then have 13, 12 on the B, pulling, and then 14 on the G. We then need to do a bit of a stretch to get to 18, 13 on the B, to 14 on the G. Four of these. We then have 16 and 14 pulling off on the G string now. We're coming down and it's 17 on the D. So. Still not done yet. 16 to 12 on the G. 14 on the D. Four of these. And now we're up to the last one, which um, the way I'm hearing it, and I think I'm right, is you are switching down to your lifting and coming all the way down to use the open, start using the open strings. We're going to be going 5-0 on the top string and then 1-0 on the B. And then finally, 7 on the bottom string, 7 on the E to finish. Can't do it. Let's hear the whole thing nice and slowly. Well, actually, I'm going to go fast because... Uh, yeah. And that's the end of section five, or the second last section. And now we are into Glenn's final section, which is the extended uh, section where things get a little bit crazy. So what is that? So we're, we're fortuitously landed here on the seven, and that happens to be the first note of the movement, uh, which, is, which is nice. How does it go? Let's sing along. Okay, so what that is is starting on the seven, and we're going to use seven, eight, five, like that. As we do it, we are pulling off to the open. So we're constantly, all the way through the rest of this section, we're going to be using the open ringing string on the, uh, well, all, all, all four of these, D, G, B, and E. Okay. So let's have a listen to it slowly. And then, okay, so but we'll stop there. So that's eight, so it's seven, eight, five, seven, seven, eight, five, seven, seven, eight, ten. Because the next note is eight, seven again, but we are doing a tricky artificial harmonic. There it is. Quite hard to get. Okay, you're going and then bam, pulling off again. Five, three, two. Yep. So five, three, two, four, five, seven on the B. And notice I'm pulling off again. You're ringing B. So four, five, seven, eight. Repeat. And then five, seven, eight. Well, it's five, seven. And instead of pulling off the seven, you go seven, eight, and take a pause. Let's have another listen from the top. I'll never get it. Take a pause. We then have, which we move to, Sorry, we move to the 12 on the B, and we hammer to the 13. And now we lift and tap 17 on the B. So we go. Do it twice, and then move your index finger to the 10, and it's 10, to 10 and 12. 
and move your tapping finger back to 19. So the whole movement is... Okay, two of each. The next part is the really fast uh, tapping and hammering part, which is from that same position. Your right hand and your left hand are in the right zone. You are going to need to move a little bit. We're going to be tapping 17 on the E string with 12 and 9 uh, index and ring. And we're going to be using these three notes and the open. And the pattern is as follows, right? And it's kind of um, triplets but inside semi quaver time or whatever. Diddly 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 do, which is 12 9. Okay, and then so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's twelve notes in total and slightly different sequence. We use the open string the second time instead of the twelve. Okay, and we just do that twice. We then go 17 and we move our left hand up to 13 and 10. So it's... Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, open. So there's 6 in total. On the 5th one, instead of coming back up to, to the tap, we hit the open and then allow it to come back up 11, 13, up to the tap, back down, and finally pause on the 11 of the beat. So. From that, from that tapping part back when we were on 9, 12, let's have a listen. bum note in there, um, but anyway. Another little mini pause, and then we have diddly diddly, which is move everything up a little bit, and you're looking for the 20, 20, and the 13. You're tapping 20, releasing to 13 on the B, and that's 16 coming up to it, so it's... And that's where the triplet-y part stops, and we go back to be do be do so we go... Okay, and then we're into bully daddle, bully daddle, which is a swept section. Swept section, you need to lift and move 17, 16, and 15, and that's on the G, B, and E respectively. You can see what my fingers are doing there. 16, 17, 16, 15, and we're going to sweep that. Notice where my hand is, it's already in the spot it's going to need to be in a second, where we go. We then tap. 20. So we go. We then tap the 20 and release it back to the 15 that's on the E. Then you pluck the 16 again. So it's boodly daddle, boodly daddle. We then have the next section, which is probably the hardest to transcribe to figure out what Glenn's doing here. What I'm hearing is after the sweeping section, doodly daddle doodly, what I'm hearing is So the way I'm going is I'm saying that it's doodle daddle daddle, which is 15, 18, without the silly squeal, 15, 18 on the B, hammered, and then beedle beedle, which is 20, 18, 15. Let's hear it again. 18. 18, 20, 18, 15. Then hammer back onto the 18. Okay. After you've hit that hammer, that 18, we're going to go dra da 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 da, which is pull the 20 up to the 21, which is. Okay. <laughs> Sounds crap. Sounds crap the way I'm doing it. Okay, so we've got 
voice that 15 again twice, and then da 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 da, which is 16, 15, 16 on the G. Okay, from the hammer from the 15. And then we have da 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 da, -da which is move your right hand up, and we're going to tap 18. 18, 15, and 12 on the B. All pulled off. Come back to the 15. So it's... And then you're going to go 13, 12 on the B. And slide your index finger down to 10. And then we're going to slide it away and come back up. We're going to use one of the notes in between to go... Like that. Back to the 12. So it's 10 to 12, but we slide away first. Okay. Let's just pause there, go back and hear that swept section through to the... Again. So we go... And the next part is bow, rudy diddle, battle diddle. So that's just hammering back to the 15 from that 12. So we've gone, sorry, hammering and pulling. Uh, we then have to move, sorry about this, to 11. So you've got your index finger on the 12. You've got to put your third finger on the 11. So he comes under, makes room, third finger comes down, 11, 10, pulled off, and then 11, 10 on the G. So it's. And then finally, you're voicing 7 on the G. There's no way to do that other than sliding that index finger. In a lot. You're overloading the index finger quite a lot at high speed here. But that's the last movement. That's the last part of it. So you've gone doing it a little, a little, a little, a Okay. So. Could play it another time through, but I'm going to burn up too much time doing that. So, do uh, yaddle daddle daddle yaddle daddle daddle. We then have uh, the next section, which is buddly 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 yaddle. Sorry, o four seven is the first one. O five eight. O seven eight. Tap twelve. And come back eight seven. We then have doodly daddly doodly daddly, which is from that same position. Opening the E string, and it's 058 on the E string, and the finger tapping the 12. So you're going nice and simple up and down. We then go 07117, hammered, then pluck the 11, and then come down. And then do the same again, but it's five notes in the space of four, so add the extra zero in. So it's booty beady booty beady dee. Sorry. We then go nine oh. And we then have seven five pulling twice on the B. Sorry. Okay, so you pull it twice. We then do uh, 047 on the G and let it go again. Do the same on the D. So we go. We then do hammer 05 on the top string. Sorry. We then. Uh, so again, you're bridging the index over. 505 on the A, so it's 05 on the top, and then 505 on the A. Voice 5 on the D. And after you've hit that 5 on the D, you need to... <laughs> it sucks for the right hand, but you've got to come back to the top string. O5 on the top string. And then the very last part of the movement is... Which is nine, nine oh nine oh, and then the very last note of the whole thing. So I do that on twenty one on the 
bottom string. Doing it at high speed is hard. You will often miss. I often miss <laughs> 21, like the version you saw me playing there was one of the times I managed to hit it. Um, now, uh, accomplished guitarists don't have to do this, right? Even though they probably could if they wanted to. Um, there is an alternative available. I think that's it there. So it's on the 11. It's not... It's not going to sustain it very well for me. Um, so, we did it. We got there. Um, God, I hope the video is still recording. Uh, it's hard work. <laughs> um, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're one of the 2% of my viewers who make it all the way to this part, to the end of the instructional part of the video, you have my thanks. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your company. I hope this has been a useful um, session for you guys uh, looking through this material. Very happy to answer any questions, as I said before. Um, enjoy. Keep rocking, keep shredding, uh, and I will see you soon.